right, everybody, as promised, I told you I'd come back and show you uh, the results of the Stinger Senior. Got it up, cranked up tonight. I want to show you that first. Can you? Hopefully you can see this. Hopefully this will come out on film. That is a steady stream of HHO coming out of the Stinger. I mean, it is really cranking. Okay, I only have it on, I have it on low right now. So there she is. It's all hooked up, and she hasn't pushed any foam. Kind of surprised. I'm happy, but I'm surprised. Okay, so I have it low right now. Uh, this camera's not exactly the best when it comes to that. But there you go, there you see it. Nine amps. That's the amp draw right there. We're running at 10.2 volts. Um, you can't go by the battery charger. The battery charger right there is trying to tell us we're up around 20 amps, but the problem is, is there are my deep cell batteries right there, and the deep cell batteries are just about dead, so they're like really sucking the power out of it. But um, what I wanted to show you is the amount of HHO that's coming out of there. Now, I'm going to set the camera down here, and I'm going to let you see what happens when I crank this thing up. Let's see if I can get it over here. So actually you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back up on the tripod here and uh, let you see firsthand of what's going on here. Sorry about all the bouncing around. Not exactly the best cameraman. One of these days I'll make one of those things that Steve from Almost Hydrogen was making the other day. This camera holder things. Okay, there it is. You're about ready to see. Keep an eye on how fast that thing goes. This floored me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crank up the power a little bit. Because right now, like I said, it's only at 10.2 volts and 9 amps. I'm going to uh, turn it up to... Uh, uh, 20 amps and see what it will do. Okay, so there it is. It's the charger's up. I'm at 11.15 volts and I'm at 13.3 amps. Okay, we're cleared out. We're at zero. I'm gonna go one, two, three. Let a bad boy go. This is 300 milliliters. Right to the top edge of the water and mark. 12.3 seconds. 12.3 seconds. If I can get this in here to where you can see it. Can't the, the light shading it. But um, it is 12.3 seconds. This is a different camera, so it's not on there. So that's 300 milliliters in 12.3 seconds. Now this is about the fifth or sixth time I've done this, and. Uh, it's exactly that. 12, 12.2, 12.1, 11.5. So it, it's right around the same thing. So I do my calculations right. That gives me 1.5 liters a minute. And that is makes me extremely happy. That's exactly where I, I mean, I would take more if I could have it. But um, my, hurdle, I was, my goal was to get at least to 105, or to 1.5 that will be more than sufficient to power up my diesel. Um, one thing I do want to show you while I'm at it here, um, I don't know if I have to move this or not. Again, I apologize, this camera is not exactly the best camera. It's a, I mean, it's okay, but you can see all the condensation right here in this tube. That's what I was talking about before. This thing has not pushed foam out at all, so which really made me happy. And I think it's because it's such a big container that it actually uh, it actually probably doesn't reach the top to foam everything up. So the it's still coming out really, really dry though, or really wet though. So that dryer is going to be exactly what I needed. Uh, I'm excited to get the dryer on there. Um, 
bolts to see how it's going to work. And that, that'll be a good test because I can run this hose into this dryer and then I'm just going to go ahead and hang the dryer from the ceiling or something. And then run another pipe off of it and see if the see if that clear tube builds up condensation like it is now. Um, it'd be pretty interesting to check it out and see how that works. But I just it was I was pretty excited to see it. I wanted to make sure all you guys seen it. Um, it's, this has been running for about an hour and a half now, uh, back and forth. So considering, not bad. 96 degrees after running for an hour and a half. Really, really, really happy with that. I expected it to be a whole lot hotter than that. Um, I was prepared to put a, uh, when I build this thing and put it together, I was prepared to put a radiator on it, a cooling fan and everything on it. I was, that was the sacrifice I was willing to make to get the high efficiency out of it. So, there you go. Um, excellent, excellent results. Really happy with it. So, um, I guess my next step would be is to uh, build my current limiting and uh, put that together on it and stick it in my diesel. Remember now my diesel, it's got a whole lot higher output alternator on it. So, I don't want to run this thing up around 30 or 40 amps. Uh, I believe if I can get this thing to run at 15 to 20 amps max, 15 amps cold, 20 amps hot, it'll uh, continue to produce 1.5 or better. Run my dryer, run it pre-turbo in the truck. Really excited, really excited. Gives me a, another boost I needed to get going. So, all right, just another video for you guys. Hope that all works out for you. Sorry about no action in front of the camera here, but um, that's it. That's that's the first bench test for the Stinger. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.